happy thrifty Thursday. You probably noticed my video is horizontal. I have switched over to my vlog camera because I want to bring you guys some quality videos. I want them to be better, so we are switching over to the vlog camera. You're probably like, wow, this is new. Um, and it is new, and I'm excited. Things are happening. Today, I am at the Nashville Flea Market, and it is magical. There are so many amazing local vendors from junk and things like that, vintage clothes, jewelry, to um, local curators of, you know, like handmade goods and all that kind of stuff. And I am meeting up with a friend here Jessica Swift. I'm sure you guys remember her from when we went to Atlanta together and she's gonna take me to some of her favorite vendors because she is seriously a flea market expert and she's gonna take me to her jewelry guy. She has a jewelry guy here so I'm really excited about that and just gonna take you guys through and show you what the Nashville flea market is all about. We're just gonna have a day at the flea market together and I'm gonna head in and I'm gonna show you around. Let's go! This is always my favorite t-shirt guy. He has really awesome vintage t-shirts and stuff. Some of them are super, super That's cheap. Cool. Hi, good, how are you? Look how crazy cool this jacket is. Wow. Love that. Oh my gosh, with the... That just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> show you this amazing tea that I love. It's like vintage Rolling Stones. It's been like hand tie day probably, but it's 40 bucks. His true vintage tea is like a little bit more expensive, which I understand. He has a, uh, I love this vintage Nike sweatshirt, the police vintage tea. So I tend to get quite overwhelmed at the flea market. There's a lot of different vendors, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things that don't have prices, so you just have to ask and like negotiate. There's a few things that I am looking for to kind of help me narrow it down and not get so overwhelmed. I am looking for jewelry and maybe any like fall pieces or any cool like homewares. Try to stick to that. We'll see what happens. I found Jess! Hi! We're looking through all these vintage tees. It's Jess's husband. Hey, I'm just tagging along, I'm just third wheeling in their <laughs> flea market day. We're in five, baby. I'm gonna, you get that one, I'll get the Justin Bieber one, okay? <laughs> We're loving this crazy cool sculpture here, and this guy just has really awesome art. Is it just still life? Check out. Look at this little chain. That is so cool. I like this one. Yes. With like the matte and the shiny together. I think I like this one. Ooh, I do like that one. We're gonna dig through all this stuff and see <laughs> see what we can find. How freaking fabulous is this belt? It has all these different like gems on it. They're not real. And then it's like this like gold brass. It's a chain belt. I'm so obsessed. Jess is down here digging. <laughs> We've literally stationed ourselves here. This is our bucket now. Don't you 
So here's everything I'm trying to find matches for. And here's everything I did. Just find these hollow gold earrings, super lightweight. They kind of have this like design to them, but I feel like these are super on trend. So I'm gonna get these. Then I found a t-shirt clip, but I saw this really cool video where this girl styled it, um, a shirt with this. So I think I'm gonna get one of these and maybe try it out. Look at this amazing okay. ring I just spotted. Okay. It's just costume jewelry, but I love that it has this little adjustable band in here so you can wear it on different fingers and it's gold. And then it has the little silver ball. She found the match, guys! Yes. Yay! Success! I found a match! These really cool twisted gold hoops. Here is my loot. I just paid $5 for all of this. They were a dollar piece. This amazing chain belt. So cool. This is, um, I actually found a different one of these. It's like more heavyweight. That amazing ring. This necklace that I love yeah. this orange stone. And these earrings. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Got my loot. Five dollars for all of that. Love it. This is something I've been looking for for so long. They're vintage matchbooks and they're just so good to put in little trays in your house. And it's only five bucks. I feel like that's a really good steal for all of these. I am so excited. I've actually been looking for quilts and they're 15 bucks a piece, which I feel like is such a steal for a great vintage quilt. I'm gonna get one of these to do a project with. Love this one with all the pink in it. And they're super old. Like this is exactly what I want, kind of tattered. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited, I got my quilt. I've been searching for one at the thrift stores for a while and they're actually pretty pricey at the thrift stores, like at least 30 bucks. So 15 bucks for this and I can use it for a lot of crafts. I'm gonna do a good soak on it to get um, some of the staining out, but I honestly love the staining and like the tears and stuff. Like that's what I was looking for when I just wanted Jess. I'm just like really excited about this quilt and for the crafts I'm gonna do, so stay tuned. Just to show you how big this place is. And they just added an indoor area, so now it's all air conditioned. It's so nice and it is massive. Okay, Jess and I have split ways now. She's gonna head out with her family. I'm just gonna check out some of this, some of these other booths that I haven't looked through yet. stuff for tables and check out this old hand like you could have it like that standing up or you could have it laying down I just think this is so weird and amazing okay I bought the glove molds from this lovely older man over there and I helped him move some things around his table here and then he sold me the glove mold for 10 bucks your glove molds are. market 
usually doesn't have like the best selection of vintage stuff, but sometimes you can find a gem. Um, and I just stumbled upon some really great vintage dresses here. I'm gonna look through. This one's kind of has a cool marbled effect to it. Oh, these are amazing. Oh my gosh. These are, are you kidding me? These are Gucci, guys. Are you serious? Like, what? Wow. These are kind of incredible. These are super vintage. So, this could actually be a really cool find if uh, they fit me and they're not expensive. Let's see. Yo. I am shook right now. Deal of a lifetime. Vintage Gucci leather pants for $15. $15 she was like, do you know they're Gucci? I was like, yes. And she still gave them to me for $15. So was really, really, really pumped about that. This is my arm right now. I can't hold anything else. This heat is no joke. I had to get a lemonade to keep powering through. I think I'm almost at the end. I think I pretty much looked at everything. I might just take a quick you know, loop around and just make sure I didn't miss anything. When I go to these markets, I'm looking for stuff that I wouldn't necessarily be able to find in a vintage store or a thrift store. I think it was pretty successful. Again, I think I'm pretty much at the end. I'm gonna take one quick loop around, look through those last little things and make sure I didn't miss anything and then probably head out. Really glad I came back inside because this guy has amazing rings. So I'm leaving with this little baby tiny pinky ring and this other ring that I showed you guys. <laughs> Thank you! <You're> <laughs> His jewelry selection, I have to say, yours was my favorite. I'm leaving, got my loot in tow. I had so much fun at the flea market. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick haul. So first up, I'm already, I just wore them out of there. So this little pinky ring, how cool is that? It's a little gold pinky ring. Which I have been looking for a pinky ring for quite some time, so this was exactly what I was looking for. And then he gave me a deal, 70 for both. So then this one, also I showed you guys, it's the sterling silver with the purple stone in the middle. Next up, the crazy cool vintage glove mold. I'll probably put this in my living room, like on a table or um, just like layered with things, but I love hands. High five for finding this one. The find of the day, guys. The vintage Gucci leather pants. They're high waist. They have the crease all the way down. They definitely need like a little bit of TLC. Love how worn in they look. I was <laughs> in the middle of the flea market, guys, putting these pant leather pants on in 91 degrees over my pants I'm already wearing. But it was worth it. Next is this really cool Quilt. Just getting this for craft projects. You guys know I've been super into the quilted patchwork look. And if you remember, I have this really, really awesome boiler suit that I found. And I'm going to patchwork some of this on there. Last few things, $5 for a pack of vintage matchbooks, which are just great to like throw into little catch-all trays. And then all of the gold jewelry I found. These are um, just like the gold like hollow hoop earrings. And all of these things were a dollar. This other cool ring I got for one dollar. I'm like ringed out, baby. Everything's just attached now. Whatever. <laughs> gold um, kind of amber color stone with a um, gold chain. And then really freaking amazing bow stone and gold chain belt. I just thought this was so fabulous. So that is everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me at the Nashville Flea Market. Happy Thrifty Thursday. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!